I had to give up some things in life to be where I'm at today. I was from Louisiana, big guy in Chuck Cotton. I'm a chef from That's why you see me in these couple. I am a chef. We worked 13 years without the patient free labor. I ran away from home at age 13. Never been back to school. My BA is the only one I have. That born again. Born again. Couldn't have made it unless I was born again. Today, believe it or not, I'm 76 years old and I can say truly for the first time in my life that I do the Ten Commandments. Yes, sir. Amen. Very, very time in my life. It's a long way to You lose all your friends. It's a hard road. Yes, but it's a road that leads you to eternal life. Yes, sir. I've lost it all to find Everything. It is wise to give up your enemy for eternal life. It is wise to give up a doctrine, fornication for eternal life. There is a spirit that is inside of all of us that you cannot see. It's an evil spirit. It's a good spirit. And that evil spirit says continually to commit fornication and adultery. The good spirit says don't do it. The good spirit says don't do it because if you stick with me, I'm going to give you eternal no life. You won't have to burn. The good spirit said that if you try me on my Ten Commandments, then I'll help you get through it. The reason I told you my age is 76 years old because I can not believe it. You're never too old. But the Lord brought me through 76 years just to save you from red black me. Yes, To get home. Yes. And I ain't going back. But the question today for you is this here. Will you make the sacrifice? Will you make the sacrifice today for eternal life? If you cannot do the Ten Commandments for those that have not been baptized, they all come down in a few minutes when the doors of the church open. And say, I'm going to get baptized and get on the road to the front line. If you're out of church and want to recommit yourself back to Christ, you can say, I'm going to get rejoined church, I mean, recommit myself to church today to get on the road to eternal life. Amen. But I, you say, how can I get on a road that I know I can't walk on? How can I give up sin? Well, the Lord I said that I'm going to work with you. Amen. You're going to keep on sin, but I'm going to bring it out of you just like I brought it out of Dr. Willow Wilson. You see, church, I used to come down in Nassau, and I used to ride the motorcycle. I used to dance the boogaloo. I used to eat electric fly. I used to mash potatoes. I used to do the alligator. I used to do the snake. The Lord had a wrestle with me to get me out of that thing, all right? And so I said that I, I, I don't want to burn. And I got sick, so sick one time, two times in my life. I said to myself, Lord, I'm not going to make it. I said to myself, I'm just sick. I said, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. And if I die today, Lord, I have not done enough 
to get into the kingdom of God. But if there's a way that you can just forgive me for all these wrong things. Even though I said that, I remember the Lord knew you forgave the thief on the cross. But I said to myself, well, but I'm still wondering. If I die now, which I know I'm not going to make it, Lord, just forgive me. I don't even know if you hear my voice or not. Or even want to hear it. I got sick before I knew I was sick. He got me up. I made the sacrifice three, four, five times and went back on my work. But Lord said, because I died for you, I'm still going to give you a chance. Because I want you to have last I'm only to his race. I said I was a Christian after I got started doing what I'm doing now. After I got doing what I'm doing now for uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen years, y'all. And you know what? I still wasn't saved. I saved it. I get to the doctor. Ten, fifteen years, I still wasn't saved. Still wasn't saved. I was too ashamed to come down when I was in the church over. If I wasn't too ashamed to go to a Bulls game and get a jersey, they put it out there. A baseball game. I, I, I was too ashamed to go down when the doors of the church open for a person who woke me up this morning. Who, who died for me. I was too ashamed. So I, I say this, I say, well, I'm going to wait for a while, but I don't control my own no time. Right. 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 But Jesus did stop by every day, woke me up, Amen. got me up, and said, I'm going to save you because I done brought you here. I'm going to give you the grace that you need to get through. Oh, that's why you see me doing what I'm doing now. I lost it all to find everything. I decided to give away, give up all that stuff. I used to take money and spend like we're going out of style to nightclubs around the world. Now I spend money giving it to churches and people who are need. That's my goal. That's my goal. And so church, I... I want to say this to you. Some people is in the cemetery today, they love to have a second chance. Some people in the grave today, they love to have, they love to be standing where I'm standing today. Yeah. Some people that say, well, I don't look if I can just get up. If I can just get up. I'll praise your name. Yeah, yeah. I'll be with you, Lord. I'll go where you tell me to go. I won't sit in church and know I'm not doing the Ten Commandments and know I'm wrong. I get up when they open doors of the church. I'll be one that run down. I'll be just like an environment that come boldly, bold to the stone of God. I'll be the one that say, Lord, I'm not going to shack no more. I don't think nobody here doing that, right? You ain't got an answer to that? Don't raise your hand. I, I would be the one that said, I'm not going to do it no more. Because I just don't want to burn. I don't want to burn. And I'll be the one that says, Lord, I'm going to tell the truth in the church. I'm not going to be shame of it. I'm not going to lie to you today got money and got food and ain't got an appetite. Yeah. Had a friend of mine passed away 
Now I've been fifty some years. I'm still hurting from it. Sometimes the Lord hits you boy, just to, you don't know what to do. But I just think solid. Him and I always talk, we make enough money, we're going to get these homes built, all this, this and that. But he was going to get a home down in the hour. And he didn't make it. After he got wealthy, pretty much, uh, shortly after that, he was worried about going back and forth to the doctor. And he passed away maybe a couple months ago. Didn't get a chance to make it. I, I'm not going to be, I ain't going to be a fool no more. Yeah. I'm going to just, I don't lost it all, you know. I, I learned how to win when I learned how to lose. And nobody in here can get me to break out one commandment. I damn boldly. I damn boldly. Don't worry about your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your spouse, what they doing. Don't worry about Worry about Jesus. Because your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend ain't got no heaven to put you in, but they can put you in hell. Keep your mind focused on the same thing. Amen. Main thing. Amen. Keep it focused. Amen. You ought to now. You ought to have to think about this. Look, I come telling you the truth. I come today representing Jesus Christ. Amen. To tell you, I know I've been through these things. I was with Ross. And I was lost a thousand times. I ain't lost no more, y'all. How many of you are in here today? You know, I want you to tell the truth because why, in my body, would be ashamed of serving the person who got you here today? that woke you up this morning. Yes. Who gave you the clothes that you have now home? Yes. Why not just throw it all in? Why not join the Christian band? All the things that you've done wrong and still doing wrong. Why don't you just get your slate just washed clean? Why don't you start a new? Isn't that a good idea? Just start new. How many of you are willing to give up at least a day one cent? Can I hit you? Raise your hand. One cent. Just give up one cent. Okay. I won't ask you for two cents because it may not do two. One. But look, the Bible says this. Fornicator. Daughter will not enter into the kingdom of God. And let me tell you something. Jesus ain't playing with you. He destroyed the first world in less than 1,700 years. Destroyed. He got angels right now waiting till judgment day to serve their time in hell. You can back it up in the Bible. Check it out. Question, please. How many will it to make you sacrifice? What will you give uh, eternal life? I am. Mean, what, what, what will you give for eternal life? I mean, like, I don't know what's going on now. If you're not following the Ten Commandments, if you break one commandment, you broke all of 